Oh, love the chai tea latte at Mud Coffee. We are here in Art St. Louis in this beautiful space. Thanks to Chandler Branch for letting us tape Studio B here one more time. Uh, we've called him. This is his house and we just come visit Chandler whenever we want to. Studio B's on the road today, but it's just you and me, no guests, because I just want to talk about an issue that I know many of you have already faced and that the rest of you are likely to face, and that is taking care of aging parents. You know, they call it the sandwich generation. That's when the aging parents are on one side, they represent one piece of bread, and you've got kids at home that represent the other piece of the bread, and you are the meat in between. That is the sandwich. And the last two weeks for me, the sandwich generation has been, well, in full force because my mother's been in the hospital for two weeks, and I have a college freshman, and I have a high school freshman. I happen to be married as well, and everybody's still at home uh, depending on me. It's, it's been a wild ride to say the least, but here's what has made it bearable for me. My parents live in Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, in that area, and that's about two hours away from St. Louis. When my mother got ill, my father wanted her brought here to St. Louis because that's where I live and where one of my siblings lives. And um, thankfully, she was transferred here to Barnes Jewish Hospital, Washington University, the same hospital where I gave birth to my two sons, by the way, so, so I know the place pretty well. Uh, it is a U.S. News & World Report top-ranked hospital, and I knew that going in and I mean that knowledge I really I really kept that in the forefront of my mind every time I would go visit her visiting her before work every day and visiting her after work every day and you know they would say to me the beautiful staff would say to me well you know Carol visiting hours end at nine but it's okay we understand uh, so they'd let me stay a little longer so they have been some long days to say the least I by the way on my phone I have one of those apps that counts your steps and that's another good thing about visiting somebody in the hospital a lot because you, you definitely achieve your steps every day. I probably walk three miles every day. My mother has received wonderful care and I just want to give a shout out to the folks at Barnes. And if you are dealing with a, a, an aging parent, we have great health care in St. Louis. And even if it's not 100%, you know, you always be sure to make your case state your feelings and let people know what is going on and ask every single question that you feel like asking because it's your mom, it's your dad, it's your grandmother, it's your husband and you have the right to ask every question you want to. From the patient transporters at Barnes to of course the nurses and the doctors, I just want to give a shout out to them including the cafeteria workers, hello, they like make the best hamburger in the world at Barnes Jewish Hospital. Somebody was joking with me about eating hospital food and I said no. I, I wasn't eating what the patients eat because they're on special, they have special diets. I was in the cafeteria, man, where they have Oreo cookie churros. I had never in my life seen an Oreo cookie churro, but I'm now in love with them and so is my 15 year old. So if you are dealing with this as I have, I just want you to do what my husband told me to do. If you are a caregiver, take care of yourself. That's what my husband said to me. Look out for yourself. You've got to do that. And so in the last couple of days as I was taking the escalator up and walking across the walkway from the south parking garage at Barnes, you know, I just was just looking around. I just looked around. And so I put together a little mini photo shoot of the things that caught my eye at Barnes Jewish Hospital. And uh, I hope you enjoy it because you have to make a hospital an appealing place for sure, and, and they've done that at every hospital in, in our region and certainly at Barnes Jewish Hospital. So I just want to say thank you to Barnes Jewish Hospital, to the staff there, for all you do in the region um, and for taking care of my mom. Cheers to you, Barnes.